Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. We commemorate today a saint whose soul was filled with fire. Saint Maximilian Kolbe, the Franciscan priest who helped thousands of refugees escape Nazi torture and execution, but himself was arrested and imprisoned. He was sent to the infamous concentration camp, Auschwitz. There, a prisoner had escaped, and in retaliation, 10 men were chosen to, to die. Maximilian offered to take the place of one of the men, a young father who was himself, therefore, uh, was to be executed. So having taken his place, Maximilian was executed. His soul was filled with fire with the love God planted in him. You may have read one of the headlines that said, they died shielding their baby. Well, that was the headline for the article about the young couple who were in El Paso that day that the young man opened up fire and they had their, ch their child with them and they protected their child, but both the mother and father were killed. The parents of that child had souls filled with fire. I know a woman who spends all her day with her brain damaged son in his nursing home. And periodically I'll visit and ask myself, how does she do it? Given what I see and experience for the brief time that I am there, her soul is on fire. Come, you blessed of my Father, I say to you, who whatever you did for one of the least of my brothers and sisters, you did for me. The reading from the book of Deuteronomy today spoke in praise of Moses, telling us that Moses had no equal in all the signs and wonders that the Lord sent him to perform, that his soul was on fire. Well, in this life, we may not be able, like Moses, to do great things, but in the words of Mother Teresa, we can do small things with great love because the fire of God's love was entrusted to us at our baptism. Maximilian Colby, the parents who died shielding their baby, the mother who spends endless hours in the dark and crowded space keeping her brain damaged son company, are doing small things with great love because their souls are on fire. Mother Teresa would describe them as little pencils in the hand of God sending a love letter to the world. We may not be called to perform the heroic deeds I spoke of in this reflection, but we did hear Jesus say that what we ask for in prayer will be granted by us, by the Father. So in our prayer today, alone or with our families, what needs and concerns might be burning in our souls?